So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Patrick Meibom. I'm working as anesthetist and intensivist at the University Hospital Frankfurt in Germany. And I'm fighting for patient safety and patient blood management every day in our hospital. So, patient blood management is a patient center approach to maintain and optimize patients' own blood resources. And this can be done by anemia management, by avoiding unnecessary blood loss, and by safe handling of donor blood. And with the support of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, my colleague Kai Sohorowski and I, we were able to launch the World PBM Network two years ago in Dana Point. And we promised to you that we would collaborate with hospitals worldwide to improve patient safety and to save lives through our PBM initiative. Now, our PBM network now includes many hospitals in Germany and in Europe. And PBM network hospitals, they receive support by training and information materials and regular quality reports with key metrics about PBM patient blood management. For example, consumption of donor blood, anemia rate, mortality rate, complications. And one of our recent meta-analysis, including 17 large PBM trials, we could show that the implementation of patient blood management can reduce mortality rate by 11%. Considering that we have more than 300 million patients undergoing surgery worldwide each year, this means that the implementation of PBM can save approximately 350 lives every year worldwide. Now, today we are proud to announce that we have started networking across the Atlantic between Europe and the United States. Medstar Health has joined the World PBM Network. And now we aim to motivate more hospitals in the United States to join our World PBM Network and to share expertise and knowledge about PBM and to improve patient care. And we hope that you all will support our PBM initiative to achieve the goal to save more lives every year. And now it's my pleasure to bring back to stage David Mayer, Director of the Medstar Quality and Safety Institute, who will discuss our partnership around our PBM initiative. Thank you very much for your attention. So are you sick of me already? <laughs> no, it's nice to be back. <laughs> Um, many of you know that I spent my life as a, clini a clinical cardiac anesthesiologist for over 25 years, and I was really, I loved it. When I look back in my career in the operating room, I realized I probably gave more blood and more br blood products than any other caregiver at our medical center. The evidence is clear that giving blood has tremendous risks. Blood is, in essence, a liquid transplant. And I think about all those patients that I harmed unnecessarily because we wanted to treat ourselves from by making sure that our patients left the OR with hemoglobins of 10, 11, and 12 so that we felt good when we went home. And yet, looking back, it was the wrong thing to do. And that's why, as Patrick said, MedStar is excited to join Patrick High in the world patient blood management network in this important work. Under Michael Hoffman's leadership at MedStar Health, we have seen greater than a 25% decrease in blood utilization over the last two years. And while patient blood management is an important patient safety issue, as Joe Chiani has taught us, we need to think larger. And I urge you all to consider going the full distance and start embracing what I believe is the ultimate goal, bloodless medicine and surgery. Michael Hoffman also leads the International Training Center for Bloodless Medicine and Surgery at the MedStar Institute for Quality and Safety. The mission of the center is to educate and train caregivers on techniques that can eliminate blood utilization altogether in non-emergency situations. The website has a vast number of online training modules. 
The site address for those interested is www.medstarbloodless.org. We've learned through our communities that we serve that bloodless medicine is not only important in the care of Jehovah Witnesses, but for many patients in third world countries where blood products are not even available. This is a global health and safety issue and we believe we need to think even bigger and start thinking differently. Thank you.